Five, You're gonna have so much fun tonight. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> 21, 22, 23, 23! I need safety services! Bingo! I'm gonna tell the whole world that Henry Ford brought my school. So tonight we had our STEM night which originated um, five years ago with Patricia Hartswam and now it's evolved into a whole STEM program which we had tonight and we had over 110 student volunteers, about 40 adult volunteers and then we had probably close to 200 people come through for the event. My name is Mahmoud Hijazi, I'm from General Motors, been doing this with McCormick for about three years now. Alright, so we're volunteering here, remember. I got a fan, so let's get a fan. Yeah. Yeah. I got a show! Oh, I got my Look what happens when that bird goes fishing. Do you see how it stretches its body out and it goes really fast? Uh -huh. Well, let's see, is that really fast? Like a train. Like a train, like a bullet train. It's fast like it. it. So this is the inspiration for the bullet train. I'm uh, Miss Gleason, Jennifer Gleason from STEM Middle School. This is our third year partnering with Henry Ford Elementary for their fantastic engineering night. We have DCMST on board with us this evening as well. We have programming, we have robots, we have physics activities. You name it, we have it here and the students have done a great job putting it all together. Here at STEM we like to promote programming activities such as programming languages involving Java, C, Python. And in this project we used a C-based language in order to program two cubes that are made up of a bunch of LEDs. The best way to learn this kind of stuff is to take an, ex like Stabby did, you take an existing example, you try it out, you say, okay, this is neat, but can I do something different? And then you make a change and then see what happens. And then the, the micro bit, which is what this thing is called, uh, it came with this little like flip book. It had like things you could do, and one of them was rock, paper, scissors. And these micro bits actually have a little, what they, what's called a Bluetooth low energy radio, and they'll talk to each other. So once you choose, it tells the other one, if I picked rock and the other player picked bomb, then that means I lost. You lost, okay. And then it'll show you, an, it shows you a check mark if you won. Uh, a diamond is a tie, X is, is a loss, and then after that, it shows your score. So our goal is to make sure that everybody understands what STEM is and our STEM initiatives in the district and to teach them all the opportunities they have themselves if they're interested in the STEM field. 
So we have to think of innovations, we have to use our critical thinking skills. And we make sure to highlight the core values of STEM while just being overall having fun while learning.